students. Happy and good morning to you. Thank God for the new day. I pray that God's grace be upon us and keep us all safe and protected during those difficult times, children. Students, take supreme and sovereign care of yourself. And you see that you purely and perfectly follow the instructions of your dear parents. Students, I greet and welcome you to the class and commercial applications. Stay focused and grasp the concepts with first class fineness, children. Make sure that you write down all the additional points which I stress and repeat for your easy understanding and good performance. Please continue to be committed to do your good work, children. Thank you. Thank you for being very smart and brilliant. Thank you. Students, before I start, let me, tell, let me remind you, please create a study routine for commercial applications, children, especially, and block uh, any, any sort of distractions. And uh, see that I, I want you all to understand and perform at your best consistently, children. Please utilize the previous learning and promote new learning, children. Thank you. Make concepts memorable. That is what my intention also. So we'll move on to the next unit of sales promotion, that small chapter, small unit. We'll finish with that and go to GAP. Sales and selling process, meaning of sales and selling process, methods of selling process. There are three methods. Sale by inspection, sale by description, and sale by sample. Inspection, description, sample. Third one is distinction between marketing and selling. Seven points. You can write at least five to six point children, which is made easy for you. Uh, meaning of person selling, also called a salesmanship. There's one definition given by American Marketing Association. We'll take a thought. Features of uh, salesmanship, personal selling, six points. I made it simple for you. Importance of salesmanship, person selling, five points. Very easy. We'll take up the recapitulation owing to time slot children and do the re review exercise. Thank you. Let's move on to the chapter. Sales and selling process. A simple chapter, children, which is very interesting. You all know more of it because you're all very good buyers, purchasers, customers, consumers. I know that. Age is not a bar. We're all, you know more than me knowing about purchasing. Students, let me tell you, selling is the basic activity of any commercial organization. Selling is the basic activity of any commercial organization. Selling is an art in which it converts the human desires into needs and the demand for product or service. It is the essence, children, for all business operations and the growth of the economy as well. It is only through the efforts of thousands of salesmen and women uh, that we are able to enjoy the benefits of new goods and services, even ideas, children. Every sale, every selling involves four things. There are two parties in that. Product is a subject matter, price, and transfer of ownership. So selling is a very important activity which creates good society. Without selling, nothing happens. So let me start with telling you this with a note. Please make note of the children. Nothing happens until somebody sells something. Before we begin with the meaning of sales. So sales is nothing but part of marketing. Sales and selling process, part of marketing. I'll tell you one, one quote. It's according to me. Nothing happens until somebody sells something. Something is based on selling activities. That means selling is the essence of all business activities and growth of the economy. Let us move on to the meaning of the word sales. Sales refer to the exchange of goods and services for money. It is a process whereby the seller transfers ownership in goods or services for a price. So you must understand that children. It is nothing but exchange of goods and services for money. Sales seeks to convert the product into cash. That is another point we can add on. It seeks to convert products into cash. And sales orient profits through sales wall. Without sales, nothing happens. Selling helps sales. Sales helps sales volume and business also. Next is selling. Selling. Selling means it is the personal or impersonal process of assisting and persuading actual buyers to buy products or service or an idea and to act favorably upon an idea that has commercial significance. So selling is very important, children. People take, uh, buyers take uh, time to listen to the seller at your doorsteps, but they don't place an order. So after, selling is a very tedious job. Marketing is a very tedious job. You all know that, children. So selling focuses on seller's needs, and seller is the center of the business universe. No doubt buyer is also very important, kings and queens of the uh, business world. Seller is also important. Now, selling ends with sale. So, the beginning of sale is selling. Unless selling takes place, sale cannot happen. And it ends after sale services also. So, you must understand, 
Sale is nothing but exchange of goods and services. Selling is nothing but action. Activities involved in assisting, persuading the buyer to buy the products and making the buyer to act fa favorably upon an idea that has got commercial money value, significance. Commercial significance is money value. Next, we move on to the methods of selling process. There are three methods, children. What is the process? Selling process involves a sequence of steps involved in conversion of human desires into demands for product and service. Here, there are three methods. Sale by inspection, sale by description, and sale by sample. What are the three methods, children? I repeat for you. Sale by inspe inspection, sale by description, and sale by sample. We'll, we'll take up the first one. Sale by inspection. Sale by, the word inspection means checking something, examining something, assessing something. So here, the buyer inspects the goods before deciding to buy them. It's very important. Yes, you should not be a fool after you buy. Before you buy, you think and buy. The nature of goods are not standardized. These, these are not for meant for branded goods. These are meant for non-standardized goods or of perishable nature. It is time-consuming and method of selling. Time-consuming method of selling because the buyer has to identify the existing and potential dangers, hazards. He has to check because this is an important stage in buying process. Buying by inspection. Second one is sale by description. This is meant for standardized branded goods which are non-perishable in nature. Standardized goods may be sold through description. What are these descriptions about? They describe size, shape and contents of the products in catalogs, circulars, sales letters, etc. This method saves time and widens the market. Please make a note, your children. This meaning goes by the description, the word description. Sale made without buyer seeing goods and having a description of them from the seller. Just a description will do. They are not going to inspect, but they are going to go through the description given in catalogs, circulars, that is all. What happens in this method, children, please note. In this method, there is an implied condition that goods should correspond to confirm to the description given in the catalogs. The third one is sale by sample. Sample is nothing but a part of transactions which talks about which expresses guarantee. We take a handful uh, of uh, rice to check the sack of rice, content of rice here also. Sample is nothing but a part of transaction expressing guarantee. What is sample children? I repeat, sample is a part of transaction that expresses guarantee. So here what happens? Sale by sample means in which the buyer purchases goods under a agreed condition there's a great condition the goods sold are as good as the one shown by the buyer as a sample. Some people will, will keep the sample good, but the other uh, products will be bad. They're going to cheat. Here, if, they, if the buyer, if the seller commits a breach of contract, it's very dangerous, children. People lose trust in the seller, in the business. Sample or specimen, the other word for sample is specimen. The products like food grains, tea, coffee, etc. is checked. When we went to Nilgiri's Uti, in tea estates, there are sheds. In the sheds, they sell tea powders, various types of tea, coffee powders. And people are given a free sample, tea cups. They sip it and they're going to buy it, place orders. Bulk orders is placed on the basis of sample. So here what happens, again I'm telling you children, if the bulk order does not match sample, the seller is committing a breach of contract. That means he's doing an offense. And the buyer may reject the goods and ask for the money back. So, there are three ways, methods of selling process. Sale by inspection, sale by description, and sale by sample. Distinction between marketing and selling. It's important from examination point of view, children. There are seven points given. You must know at least how many? Five to six points, definitely. Now, I'm telling you, selling is an action which converts product into cash. Yes, no doubt. But it's a part of marketing. Marketing is very big word, children. Marketing involves all that things to take to push the goods to meet the customer needs. Pushing the goods to meet the customer needs is very important than selling. Because selling is a part of marketing. From this you can understand how big is marketing and how small is selling. Marketing is a process of getting people interested in goods and services being sold. Whereas selling refers to all activities that lead to the selling of goods and services. Only when you get people closer to their products, you can have the selling taking place. So marketing is more important than selling. Second one. Marketing begins before the goods are produced to understand the needs of the buyers, whereas selling begins after the goods are produced. So, marketing talks about production also, and selling talks about sales. So, without production, there is no sales. So, marketing is important than selling. Third one, marketing is customer-oriented to satisfy the needs of the buyers, whereas selling is product-oriented 
in order to satisfy the needs of the seller. Both. So product oriented depends upon customer oriented. First you must take care of the customer and the sat and you must satisfy the needs. Marketing focuses on long term growth and soft profitability whereas selling focuses on short term maximization of profit. What is the meaning of long term growth and profitability? This is more important than short term maximization of profit. Without profitability you cannot maximize profit. So there must be growth, expansion of business, profitability, all that happens through marketing. That is why marketing people, those involved in marketing, uh, they work quite a lot and they come home totally exhausted. Most of the parents are, 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 are also doing marketing activities. Fifth one. Marketing means integrated approach, whereas selling means persuasion and promotion. Persuasion and promotion is part of integrated approach. So marketing is both more bigger term. What is integrated? Integrated is nothing but uh, combining, linking together, or putting together various aspects in selling to sell a product. Various aspects put together, linked together is integrated. Marketing is more important than selling. Marketing aims at profits through customer satisfaction, whereas selling aims at profits through sales volume. There will be no sales volume without customer satisfaction. Marketing follows the principle of caveat vendor. We've got two words here, children. Caveat vendor, caveat emptor. Caveat vendor, caveat emptor. Caveat vendor is a Latin phrase that has become a proverb in English also, children. Let the seller beware. It's not dogs beware. Let the seller beware. Whereas selling follow caveat emptor. Caveat emptor means let the buyer beware. Vendor means seller, emptor means buyer. So what are the main points of differences between marketing and selling children? Let me quickly do the summary for you. Marketing, marketing involves making people to get interested in buying goods and services, whereas selling is just selling of goods and services. Unless people get interested, selling will not take place. So marketing is more important. Marketing begins before the goods are produced. Selling begins after the goods are produced. Marketing is customer oriented. Selling is product oriented. Marketing has got long term growth and profitability. Selling has got maximization of profits. Mar marketing is has got integrated approach, whereas selling means persuasion and promotion only, few aspects. Marketing is customer oriented towards customer satisfaction. Uh, selling is only sales volume, increasing sales volume. And the last but not the least is marketing. Under marketing, we've got the caveat vendor. It's a Latin word. That means let the seller beware. And caveat emptor, under selling. What does caveat vendor mean under selling? Let the buyer beware. So we have seen seven to six to seven points, children. You remember at least six. Then we move on to the meaning of personal selling, also called as salesmanship, sales force. Very important, children. As you enter any shop, men and women will be standing at the sales counters to welcome you, and they will entertain you, and they will make the sale possible for the seller. People, I tell you, children. But what is the other word for person selling? Salesmanship. Other word for salesmanship, womanship also, but salesmanship we take it, and personal selling. People sell products after meeting face to face with the customer. Very important. That's why people sometimes they going to keep a day or half a day for purchasing. They're going to fix. They're going to plan their purchase. So all that happens. Personal selling is very important. We create a sales force. So salesmen and women are very important for business people. Children. Seller promotes products through their attitude. Every sales representative should be good at attitude, good at appearance and product knowledge. Three things. What are the three things, children? Every seller should have a sales representative, good attitude, good appearance and good product. Let's go to the meaning. Salesmanship is an attempt to induce people to buy the product. It is a promotional method of enhancing sales by establishing personal contact between the buyer and the seller. Face to face contact. The main aim of salesmanship is to inform and encourage customer to buy or at least have a trial run, trial product. So it's a very important promotional method, children. It's a process of persuasion, convincing the buyer to buy the products that influence people to buy the goods and services in face-to-face -face situations. Very important. Please make a note, your children. Person selling happens when the sales representative meets the potential customer for a sale. Meeting is very important, face-to-face. -face. And sales representatives nowadays, I've seen, I've got my own friends traveling to other cities and countries by aeroplanes. Sales representative. Different companies offer different multinational companies. Person selling out of three types of children salesmanship. What well, the first one is like order takers, the second one is order creators, and third one is order getters. For example, cars, selling cars, office equipment, Xerox machines, etc. All those come under this. Let's move on to the definition given by American Marketing Association on salesmanship. Only one line. So simple is it. Salesmanship is a process of assisting and persuading a prospective buyer to buy a product in a face-to-face -face situation. 
So salesmanship is a process of assisting and persuading the prospective buyer to buy a product in a face-to-face -face situation. Very important. Features of salesmanship, person selling, depends upon the definitions. The definitions gives us the features. There are six points, children. You should know all the six. Quickly, you should write. Person selling involves direct face-to-face -face and oral contact between the seller and the buyer. What is the main outcome of that? What is the result of this? It provides a detailed explanation, demonstration of the product, depending upon the motivation and interest of the buyer. You're going to convince the buyer, having a direct face-to-face -face oral contact. Second one, it involves contact with limited number of selected persons. Third, it increases sales and wins permanent customers. Fourth one, it persuades people to buy the product or service. Fifth one, it's flexible and adjusts sales according to the needs and behavior of the buyers. Sixth one, it aims at customer satisfaction, leading to higher sales and more profit. So what are the six points, children? Very easy. First point, direct face-to-face -face and oral contact between the buyer and the seller. Second one, contact with limited number of sellers, persons, selected persons. Third one is increased sales and win customers. Winning the customer's heart is very important. Once the customer getting addicted to your product, he will become a permanent customer. Permanent customer is nothing but increasing sales. It persuades people to buy product or service. The next one, it is flexible and adjusts sales. The next one is customer satisfaction, which leads to higher. Customer satisfaction is the main aim to them. So you should understand there are six points. You should know all the six points. Let's move on to the importance of salesmanship. Importance of salesmanship is nothing but it should obtain a sale and gain satisfied customers. So what is the outcome, children? You should obtain a sale and gain satisfied customers. Gaining a satisfied customer is very important. Here are five points, children. I made it very easy for you. Before this, let me tell you, person selling aims at improving interaction between customer, sales facility, and salesperson. Three important things, triangle. Customer on site, sales facilities, and salespersons. Person selling gives insight, understanding, into customer habits. You should understand, quickly understand the habits, tastes and preferences of the customer. Once you get control over these aspects, you can make the buyer a permanent buyer. So a person selling obtains a sale, that's the caption. Obtaining a sale and gaining satisfied customer is the main aim of salesmanship. It's so important. First one, salesmanship provides the fullest satisfaction to the buyers by solving the needs by studying their taste, preferences, likes and dislikes. Very important. Next one. Salesmanship aims at confident, creating confidence of the buyers and thereby convincing them to accept the proposals with logical suggestions. Every sales representative or the seller should have a tolerance kind of acceptance level children and uh, provide logical answers to their inquiries, queries given, questions raised, uh, suggestions given. That can help with good salesmanship. Third, it, salesmanship creates demand for new products, yes, definitely, and minimizes the gap between the products producers and the buyers, not only products, producers and the buyers as well. It creates new demand because once the buyer gets satisfied, he will go for the products and whatever products the company produces, he will go for it or she will go for it. Fourth one, salesmanship is flexible in operation as a salesman can easily adjust his sales efforts as per the needs and utility of the buyers. So there's adjust, adjustment. Whenever you get the word adjusting sales, it is flexible, it's not rigid. So it is flexible in operation and can easily adjust to the needs of the utility of the buyers, use of the buyers. Fifth one, it performs the functions of feedback from the buyers to the producer. Very important because the producers have to get to know what the buyers feel about their products and services so that they can improve and keep up the business in the market. What are the five points, children? Quickly, I'll go for you. First one, salesmanship gets the fullest customer satisfaction. Salesmanship aims at convincing the buyers. Salesmanship creates demand for new products. Salesmanship is flexible in operation uh, and can adjust the sales easily. And fifth, but not the last one, salesmanship connects the feedback from the buyers to the producers. So what are the steps? Next one, we move on to the steps. Owing to the time slot, I'll only list out the main steps, children. Explanation, I will do it in the next session. Please bear with me. What are the next points, children? Steps in person selling process. The process of person selling consists of the following steps, children. So what are the following steps? What are the steps? You should know that, children. So, this steps is <coughs> built into an acronym called AIDCAM. What is that AIDCAM? It stands for Attention, Interest, Desire, Conviction, Action, and then more sales. I repeat, Attention, Interest, Desire, AID, AIDCAM. Conviction, Action, More Sales. What is conviction, children? I think all other words can easily understand. Conviction. Conviction, children, is nothing but staying with the purpose and fulfilling it. So what are the main steps involved in person selling children? Let me tell you. First is pre-sales preparation. 
That's the first step. Second one is prospecting, pre approach. Third one is approach. Fourth is presentation. Fifth is convincing. Sixth is closing the scale. And seventh one is after sale follow up. So there are seven steps, children, which you should know. It's very, very important from the examination point of view. Let me not rush through that. I'll, I'll take it up in the next uh, session, children. Until then, uh, students, before I close, so let me go through the learning objectives which are studied for today. Uh, we have gone through the meaning of sales and selling process. Yes. Methods of selling process, there are three, sale by inspection, sale by description, and sale by sample with example. Then third one was distinction between marketing and selling. There are seven points. I've made it easy for you. I told you marketing is a wider term than selling. Selling is part of marketing so that you can understand the differences, children. Next one is, uh, don't forget that uh, principle of caveat vendor and caveat emptor. Caveat vendor, marketing. Caveat emptor, selling. Meaning, Next, we moved on, uh, took up uh, meaning of uh, person selling, salesmanship, uh, gone through the definitions of American Marketing Association, and main features of salesmanship, you have seen six points, children, and uh, importance of salesmanship, you have seen five points, and we, we just uh, mentioned about the steps involved in person selling process, which is very important for examination, definite question, children. You, you may get a 10 mark question or a 15 mark question, depends upon the type of question they give you, children. But it's a definite question. You must pay attention to that. Students, owing to time slot, I need to close down the session until the next session. Children, uh, let every sunshine uh, holders more promise and every sunset holders uh, uh, in health and safety. Let God's blessings go far beyond anything we could ever dream, children. Uh, let us say, stay protected, motivated. God bless us. Have a blessed days to come, children. Thank you. Thank you.